Hi, this is Don Downey with Forest Metrics. This video is going to discuss cruising with the Forest Metrics Pro system. We're going to assume at this point that you've you've gone through your template wizard, you have your cruise template set up, and you've started a new cruise. And if not, you can check out those other videos for, for a, a, a quick tutorial on that. So we started this new cruise file, and you see at the bottom you have some file functions you can go into. But our data collection is going to happen primarily at the plot level. So let's go first, though, to stands. This is where you can take a look at the stands that you have in this cruise. I populated this cruise file with a couple stands. I have three of them, and I can flip through them individually and look at things like my plot list, where I can see all the plots that I have in this stand. I can stratify plots right here, I can, as in I can move plots to different stands. Um, I can look at all of my plots in their entirety from all the tracks. And I can look at my sampling method. Um, you can change your sampling method from one stand to another. If you have a heavy cutover stand right next to a thick softwood stand, you can change your sampling error, uh, your sampling method from one stand to the other. So back home, now we're going to go to our plots. Now this is, of course, where the data collection happens at the plot level. We are on our tree data, our tree tally page. You see at the bottom, we can select the stand that we want to go to. I can say, I just got out of my truck, I'm right at stand three. And I can go to plot 30. Okay. Now you see that message is going to pop up when you try and leave a stand, or leave a plot rather. It's going to say, are you done tallying this plot? If so, it's going to validate the data, check for some blank entries. Um, if not, it's not going to be validated, validated until the plot is marked done. So it's just kind of a warning. I'm going to carry on with that action, but my, but my data at that plot hadn't been validated. At the top of the screen, you'll see we can go to plot level data. We're on our tree data, or we can go back home. This next row here are your tree actions, though. We can delete trees, we can add trees. So we're going to hit this plus button to add a tree, and it's just going to walk me right up this tree. Black oak, uh, 11 inch, I'm going to say one log of saw timber and one and a half logs of pulp. And carry on. Loblolly, 13 inches. I have two logs of saw timber and two logs of pulp. Black cherry, 12 inches. I have a half a log of saw timber and one and a half logs of pulp, and so forth. Now, this is what we call multiple product by varying length. So we're calling multiple products potentially by different lengths. Now, I don't have to call two products. I just have it set that way in the, in the, in the settings. I can say black cherry. Uh, it's, it's some 11 inch, but it's pretty much garbage. It's two logs of pulp, and that's it. Now, I can just touch down here and that just closes that down. So I just have a single product there. When I'm done, I can touch to mark it done. And then I can carry on. I'm done with plot 25. I can now go to plot 26. Notice plot 25 no longer shows in this pick list because in the settings, I chose to hide my plots once they are complete. So I'll go to plot 24 and carry on. So that's it. We're tallying trees. Loblolly, 13 inch, two and a half logs of saw timber, one and a half logs of pulp. A couple of things are happening when you're tallying here. One thing is I have opted to show my limiting distance as I'm cruising. So the moment that I enter a diameter, my limiting distance for that tree, given this basal area factor, is going to show up down here. So I can say loblolly 14 inch, and it's going to say 26.6 feet. Now, I do have a full form class calculator, I'm not form class, I'm sorry, limiting distance calculator. I can touch this little toolbar and you'll see I have a full limiting distance calculator. So I can even enter in, uh, yeah, I'm on a 30% slope. My diameter is 14.2 inches. My limiting distance is 28.2 feet. It also goes the other way. I can enter in my distance from plot center. I can say I am 15.3 feet from plot center and my minimum diameter is 8.4 inches. So that's it for tallying trees. Um, I can call this complete and I can either head over and capture plot level data or go back home, but that's it for tallying.